Hey everyone, Technoman here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if you're getting unable to check update on iOS 18. So you're going to follow these steps. So let's get started. Generally, you'll see this message when you go into your settings, general, and then you click on software update and you see this message which you can't check for update or you don't see iOS 18 update. You want to follow these steps. First thing is you're going to make sure that your phone is compatible on iOS 18. So the phones that are compatible on iOS 18 is iPhone 10R, 10S, and anything newer, or iPhone SE second generation, or anything newer. If you have anything older than that, unfortunately, you're not going to see iOS 18 at all because it's not compatible. Now, once you know your phone is compatible, moving on to the next thing you want to do is go ahead and pull down the control menu, put your phone on airplane mode briefly, turn it off, and that should do a network refresh. Go back and then click on software update and you should see update and iOS 18 should show up for you. Now, if you're still not able to check for update, the next thing to do is if you're using uh, any kind of cellular data, I recommend switching over to a strong Wi-Fi. Sometimes cellular data is not able to check for update because how large the package could be. So use strong Wi-Fi. Now, along with that, the next thing you want to do is this method, which you're going to go ahead quickly press and release the volume up, quickly press and release the volume down, and then hold on to the side button until the phone goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So it's volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to the side button. Just like that, I'm going to wait until I see the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. During this process, you do not want to touch the screen at all. So just wait until the screen shows up again the black screen and then the Apple logo and that time you let go. Basically what we're doing is shutting down the phone completely and having it reload again. So if it's a software related issue, which most likely is the reason why you're not able to see those updates, we're going to want to follow this step. Sometimes you might have to do this process a few times. Again, it's just volume up, volume down, and then hold on to this side button until the phone turns back on. After you have done that and you're still not seeing it, the next thing you want to do is go into your setting on your iPhone, go to general, click on iPhone storage, and check that you have at least 10 gigs or more storage available. Now, if you see this is under 10 gig, you want to delete some messages, some longer form our videos, apps, until you have at least 10 gigs so you have enough storage available for you to actually check for the update. Now, along with that, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is to ensure that Apple servers are actually working for the update itself. In order to check that, open up any browser and simply search up Apple service status or system status, either or. Take you to this page from Apple where it gives you an idea of their services that are working. So you want to look for the one basically says the update itself, so we're going to look for software updates. And we're going to make sure that all of this is working. For some reason, if you see some of these are not working, you will not be able to get the update itself. So make sure all of these are working, and that way you can go ahead and update. If something says unavailable, you have to wait until they fix it. Generally, Apple will fix it as soon as possible, but it's another place to start in checking. Now, if you check everything is working, the final thing to do is go into your settings, go to general, and go down where it says transfer reset iPhone, click on reset, and you want to do a network reset. When you do a network reset, basically it resets things like saved Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connected devices, which you'll have to reconnect. But it's crucial to do this part if you're having issues with your iPhone unable to check for update. Now, along with that is one final bonus tip is if you have a beta profile, you want to turn that off. So in the settings, go to general, software update, beta profile will show up here, updates. You want to make sure that this is turned off. If you update it to a beta version, sometimes it's stuck on the beta, searching for that. So you want to turn that off and then go on automatic updates, turn these off and then turn them back off and then it should refresh and you should see iOS 18 upgrade should come up once that refresh is done and you have a strong Wi-Fi. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks on your iPhone, especially on iOS 18. We'll see you guys next time.